here between two of the yeah. um, strongest mid players in the tournament. Yeah, but I really wonder what build he goes for. Because we haven't seen Cormorana in this patch yet, I want to say. Uh... Yeah, you, you sort of been the right click, or is this one of those mids that you kind of go for that Atos build up on? You know, Aghanim Shard does not break Moonlight Shadow in this ability. With Aghanim Shard, the ability. Top. Oh. Okay, he's going to see if he can bring down Baboka. <laughs> they can. A kill to be kind of the same Hitler. time in the mid. Samael. Oh, that's so big. He ends up getting in and with the arrow. He's just going to miss the wave. The solo kill. Oh. He definitely has better timings, I would say, on the voice spirit. To help his team out. Middle lane again. Pretty low. Samael's going to be fine. Already had sort of the rotation coming in to, to make sure that both water are under their control. P2 grabs the bottom. Samael's able to grab the top. So continuing to do what they can here to give Samael that edge in this mid matchup. I really like what um, Shasha is, is doing on, on the Underlord. I think the other Underlords were rushing the Ring of Health versus this Monkey King. And I, I think it's the wrong play. I think you have to buy the boots and buy the region. And you need to have a, maybe a support. Samael! Yeah. He's going for it again with the arrow. Oh, and he's got, he got him! Another time, two times now, the Samael has been able to get the solo kill. Oh my he's god. He's playing on the edge. You can see how he's sort of teasing Nisha with how low he sits in this matchup. But oh. knowing the exact limits of this hero, Samael turning up, bringing the Mirana to the mid. And this is, is a fantastic start. Oh, the good